All right, so this is a continuation from the previous video after dimensioning. Um, it's going to be a video on how to apply the titles or text box for for this view. So we're going to label these views. All right, so in your command manager tools right here, these tabs, under the annotation tab, we are going to go ahead and select notes. All right, so notice on the left-hand side here, this left pane changed. So they give, this gives you all the options for that note tool. And if I were to drag my cursor over to the drawing, there's a text box that kind of follows the cursor around. I'm going to go ahead and place a text box right here. And I'm going to name this view. This is going to be our principal view. <clears throat> and I'm also going to give it its scale. So this is going to be, and we made this one half scale. <clears throat> All right. So anytime you have a text box or you create a text box, this formatting menu here pops up. Okay. And I'm going to center justify this to make it look good. So I'm going to use center justification. And I'm going to select my principal view and I'm going to change the font size here. Actually, I'm going to keep this at 12 and I'm going to change the scale. I'm going to make this smaller and change this to 8. All right. So there is my principal view. All right. Now, rather than having to do that whole process again, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to select this view. I'm going to copy. So control C or you can right click on it contextual menu and you can copy this way as well actually you doesn't give you a copy command never mind so i'm going to select this view or excuse me not this view but this text box okay in the way that you know you have it selected it's black right now but if you select it it's like a light blue i'm going to control c for copy and then I'm going to zoom here into my top view. I'm going to go control V and it paces wherever your cursor is pointed at. So I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to point my cursor right here, or let's say if my cursor was up here and I go control V, it's going to paste it relative to where your cursor location is at. So I'm just going to move this. So it's under the view. I'm going to place it right about right about there, center of the view. Okay, I'm going to double click to edit and I'm going to change this to, oh, excuse me. So this is my principal view. I got that wrong. Got it backwards. This is going to be my primary view. All right. And the scale of this view is correct. So it's going to be one to two. I'm going to copy this text box. I'm going to put my cursor right under this view and place it right there and this is going to be another principal view now if you really want to get technical we can label this top view and we could label this our right view either way will work for this particular exercise or either name <clears throat> would work all right so i have that and let's go ahead and also apply a label or a name here for this isometric view so i'm gonna oops, mess that one up i'm gonna put my cursor right about here i'm gonna paste this and i'm just gonna edit this and call this our isometric view now since this is an isometric view we're gonna put engineering reference only and we're going to change this to size eight. And the reason why is because since this is an isometric view, this isn't um, true to dimension. Okay. Cause it adds that third um, dimension in there or that third perspective of, of the, of the part. So we're going to make this, engineering reference only and the scale here is actually going to be none because it technically wouldn't be in scale or wouldn't be to scale all right and we are going to go ahead and add reference dimensions to this isometric view so i'm going to go ahead and select the smart tool under the annotations tab right here and i'm going to select i'm going to give it just general 
length, width, and height dimensions. So I'm going to select for the width. I'm going to select the line. So I'm going to select this line right here and this corner of the part. Drag this dimension down. And I'm going to do the same for the width, that edge to this edge. I'm going to line up these points, these dimensions. And I'm going to do the same for the height. Choose this edge and this edge and put that approximately right there. All right. Now, the dimensions here are going to be reference only. So to signify a dimension being reference only it has to be in parentheses. Okay. So to add the parentheses, I'm going to just select the dimension on the left hand side here you're going to see a dimension text option. And I'm just going to select this box right here where it says add parentheses. Boom. So I added parentheses around that dimension. I'm going to do the same for the other two. And this view is set. All right. So looking at this we have completed our first drawing using using SOLIDWORKS.